Welcome to Dungeon Master Tapes, Volume, Part, and Commercial 58. Yes, I can count again. 58. There are no levels up in this without a servant forsaking you for the game of the gnarled, but we go on where we've continued to a place that has beset us with all kinds of distractions, and it looks like people can talk English in Transylvania. Very curious. They type out the text of what they say above their heads. And I can put something else above my head, but who votes that I put the cursor where he needs to go, and who says I put it on him or put the cursor away, yes. So we look over here, and we don't need a cursor to follow Simon Belmont in his quest to eradicate the world of the undead, but only so that they can send their souls to precious Hades, where they go to bless the waters of the damned. And we beseech thee upon those waters of the damned to continue with the forest life the way it should be, even if skeletons regenerate after I killed them, says Simon Belmont. I will not let a single one survive. Oh no, it's night time in Transylvania, it, and that means the enemies are twice as hard. You, can, you have to throw holy water left and right, and we didn't even see him by holy water. And all we're doing is whipping and going back and forth and collecting those little things that you can buy things at the store with. So really, it's a good thing those monsters were there, like in Final Fantasy and the others, because or Ninja Gaiden even, because if the thing wasn't there, then you wouldn't get the bonus points for killing it, right? If the monster's not there, you don't get the bonus points and level ups for killing it. So, even there are reasons that game creators create monsters. I mean, you don't have to not have monsters to collect gold and things. Well, what kind of a Minecraft game would be like that? No, Minecraft has this monster of his own called Architectural Engineering Demons that you have to build the greatest of all Minecrafts is the only way to beat Minecraft, and I've only seen it beaten once, and we've seen all that, and now we're on to Castlevania, and all we can say is whoop up on some zombies left and right. This is a trick in the game, because you always get points for slashing these two witches that are coming at you in the dark. That you can only do it in the dark is still a good sense of why he's collecting so much treasure from these, in this cycle of witches that he's found in this corner of Castlevania 2. Simon's Quest for the Nintendo Entertainment System and I think look into the box see the rising sun see the blaze of day and the witch's day is done see the burdensome delight see us all by candlelight see us dream see us error we were nearer to the mirror I look through this mirror of disguise we float around, yes, it's a torch. We also carry the torch into the Dungeon Master Magnification Loop. And if you haven't seen a torch that's a magnification loop, then you aren't really watching the same game, are you? And ecstatically, this is what it all leads to, is Witch Mountain, or the witches up the staircase that we barely even remember now how he got up here. And that we're barely even beginning on where we're going with this, but I think we've seen enough of that repetitious loop, although I could stay on it for hours. But I'm thinking our uh, gypsy ahead. So this is quite for the, uh, uh, commercial, commercial, everybody hold tight, we're going into commercial mode. Yeah, somewhere else, somewhere else. We need to pay through, build this a sign. We will take over here. Three, two, one, commercial's done. That was like a halo thing. So here we are in the Belmont Castle, and we appreciate YouTube for the commercials, and we hope that we can buy the licenses for these videos so that YouTube is exalted in every way, as those of which great reward lie for those who give their money back to YouTube when they make it there. And into here into the exit we once went to before you enter there. 
He's got to jump the spikes. Yeah, jump the spikes. He's pretty good at that. This is a weird pit of despair because all of a sudden there's monsters that take like 10 holy waters to blow down and they're like, listen, people, and oh, it's, he was dead before we saw him, but that looks like, oh, yes, circle, yes. Why the cursor is back on there and calculating where we should see. See, we can see further into the game, but we don't want to go down that road again yet. See, we can buzz around here and see towards the end of the game we've been upgraded somehow to do that. But I don't see how we can see where we are right now unless we're going towards the Middle Ages part of the game, which is back here. Now that we've gone before the scene that came after, this is getting more interesting because that means we can either go through the scene again that we've already seen leading up to this, or perhaps we are already... But I don't think this is the same dungeon as we had before, even though he came down in a dungeon like this, and did we ever have this background color? And is this part of the game really so far from where we started the last part of the game? And who has the windows so looking so closely? So in here we know that the Grim Reaper's mostly dead for tomorrow, today full of sorrow. Drink now thy cup, the vampire's sorrow is gone to grave. Dun, 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 dun. He's gonna fight somebody. He's going, oh, did we see this before? I, I don't think I came out of the water before. The under first under the water and back. I'm looking at this thing all wrong. Hang on, Simon. You just stop right there, okay? I mean, stop for a minute. Now, let's examine the situation. Did we see this scene before? And if the answer is yes, we'll go further. Now, this is kind of a cool level because it's way later in the game. And really, this game isn't too... Oh, we got to take it back on. Freeze frame and change of scene in this dungeon that we mean. Look at him whipping that dragon. This is like a Mario game all of a sudden, but it's Simon Belmont. If they don't call it Mr. Belmont's Quest, it's probably because it's a, a formality to call someone by the last name. Right? I think you would by now know him as Simon, right? Now, he's not Alvin and the Tripmunks, but he's a great Simon of days of yore. And furthermore, what we extinguish with our minds, we extinguish with our soul. And what our soul rejects is what the noise is of confusion. This Iliad, this dream, this curiosity came from me. One day while I scored a chick in my room with this game on, and she thought I turned into a demon. And if you're screaming, don't see what I mean. Because when I'm in bed, I am a demon. Right, Simon? Uh, there's no, like, booty call in this game, dude. I just whip demons and collect hearts. That's what makes me happy, is whipping demons and collecting hearts, bro. Because, like, not that demons are tortured enough that I had to torture their soul worse. But, uh, it's okay, because they kind of are tortured souls that need to be destroyed. And they're, they're looking for me to destroy them. So I have a lot of people to, or demons to use stand up for that are looking for me to kill them and it, that's cool with everybody right like did I don't really think about that I just kill demons that come after me and try to attack me I mean, so there is a qualification that they come after me and try to attack me means that there is some positive qualification that they are really wanting me to be killing them because there's one of me and I've lasted through a ton of these geists these sh these Dibbics in the rift. And there's probably a Dibbic in my computer or something for even saying the word. How did we get back to a horrible night to have a curse? We need to move in. Keep the torch there. Turn the torch. Wow, this vista is really beautiful. I don't see anything quite like this. And that there's witches everywhere, and I'm booting witches out of the game is wild. And if this is like the witchdom of witchery to witch witcheroo, and he's smacking her down. Why would you do that? Why would you even hurt a witch? I thought we talked about this. 
Oh, but he says it's a witch ghost. We're supposed to crack those into fireballs. Because a witch ghost is meant to kill. And a kill is never next to being a witch boarder's meal. And if they're boarding with you, let me tell you what to do. Don't even give them a heel. Just give them a whip to the... Oh, we gotta check our inventory. What was that? Can we go back to that? Should we go back to that? It looks like the timeline is steady. Steady, where's my cursor? There's the cursor. Now if we play that steady back, it should show us from the end of the game back to the beginning, and back to the end, and back to the beginning, and then back through the game. And we'll try and do it entirely here. Here we go. Look back through the game, and if you look at it, all of a sudden through this media, it looks like we can kind of come back here, but now it's daytime, so let's take it as we got it. The controls for Dungeon Master were not this time compromised. It has been a sailing torch to hold one hand and a cursor on the next, but the cursor at this point might as well be the next phase. Uh, take three, enter. Take three, playing. Hello, this is Dungeon Master. Where were we? Did anyone get through Castlevania yet? Was this somewhere where we were supposed to be? Let me hold the torch magnifier. The torch magnifier keeps us the light of day when we are sin will go away. Why is everybody rhyming on this one? It's a devil game. You don't have to rhyme on a devil game. You can rhyme on a devil game, and it sounds really insidious and horrible and raunchy, but that we're raunching out during this game isn't there a bigger point that we're gonna raunch out during this game it means people get raunchy. Dude. I, for one, am sorry that people do get raunchy. The whole point of sacking a demon is so that those demons don't affect someone and turn them into the raunchy. But we know demons can be delicate. Maybe he's not really killing them. Maybe he's putting time in a bottle and saying, you're mine now, and capturing their souls. If these creatures have a soul, which they must, because he talks to some and battles with some. And that he can't discriminate at night when this evil witch is coming to kill him. Or if they were qualified by any other reason, he probably would hold his wit back. But that he has to go through forests and mazes and ups and downs and lefts and rights and secret passages. I remember that part of the game. That's far in. Far in as we're going to be, I very much doubt it in that. I would plead with you to rejoin the cursor in the next. Up commercial dungeons and dragons, I work for Wizards of the Coast. This is a Wizards of the Coast sponsored game. And that Dungeons and Dragons came up again. There's something cool that we should watch the whole commercial. Oh, whoa, that was sponsored by Wizards of the Coast. And we see there were no technical difficulties to our Dungeons and Dragons post. That that was the commercial may God rest worthy of us all to be able to use these commands in one YouTube video, which we should because we've done it before for these same kind of reasons. And that this game is all barged around doesn't mean I'm not going to go back through it because we have a ways to go. This is far into the game. Far into the game where we could settle here and still settle out a high score. If we're settling out a high score, it may be me that wants to put in on the get what you got list. Because the get what you got list is already crammed full of ideas. How we can march through time in a penny pencil or stretch your orb with a cue or have a moment to be in tidance of the grievance of having to kill skeleton people as you're going up a staircase. I mean, what's harder, killing a skeleton person or going up a staircase to do it? I wonder if he can just whip out from under him. Get them, Simon. Go get those demon skeletons. They have feelings too. That's why you've got to knock them out so they don't have feelings anymore. Yes, skeleton people are being turned into soul munching. And that he's keeping this army of skeletons deep within him is the only way he can beat Dracula. The only way he can beat Dracula is by eating everyone's heart 
and then all of these living creatures he brought to life have hearts in them because he's like Frankenstein as well as Dracula. But it's not Dracula. Dracula is the final boss in this. And I say we're like most of those people. We may not get to see it. That we've seen it somehow in the fast forward rail limits my cursor response. And if this is far out gravitationally, you should see where we left off on the wizards and warriors and why we came through the ending twice, not to go near the ending. It's a simple code of highlights from the game that these are quite thorough and highlights and full of secrets and full of the ideal game of Castlevania that he hasn't died once is already making me question the viability of this document. That he may have died while we were watching, I don't know, Dungeon Master fans. Dungeon Master fans, do you really know if he used a password to get to this point? Because have we skipped too much of it to see him perish in eternal hell for jumping off that bridge and not landing last time? And now he's got some special boot on that can land him and I'm supposed to believe those are the souls of skeletons? Yes, I know, it's a pity we don't always have adrenaline like this from watching video games. This one is specifically high in adrenaline. That the visceral response to the catharsis in this video is so hypothetical based on violence and imagery in games that we would have to kill a skeleton person if we saw one, if we were capable of doing the work. And that would be about the copycat crime of this game. That I don't really want to hit a skeleton with a whip. But if I had a whip and a skeleton was coming at me, I guess I'd use it. I'd be hesitant, but if the skeleton was like after me, if there really was a skeleton after me, then yeah, I'd probably hit it with a whip. Now Medusa's head, I'd definitely hit with a whip. I'd hit it down until it didn't turn me to stone. Now that's Medusa's head, so at least you got to see a boss battle. Although it won't allow you to level up, because this is one of those like Manson boss battles where he may win, but I won't. And that may have been the skull of Marilyn Manson paying us back for getting his favorite game into press, which we all knew Nintendo Power did that years ago. And we thank you, Nintendo Power, for all of your upheld requests. And we summon IGN's help, creating some kind of an engine that can hold only Dungeon Masters, and that Dungeon Masters will be the end of all things, that they will be going through the end again and end more, and that Medusa's head is even back is so cerebrally challenging that I'm about to get up this block of sticks and not even make that a negative thing. That thing was hideous, bro. And I had to take that thing down, and then it's just floating there again. I mean, does this game have reset mode for all its undead, like the undead are undead again? The undead are back from the dead? The undead are back from the dead. I don't know, that sounds like a Sam Raimi movie. Maybe we shouldn't make it undead back from the dead <laughs> back from the dead are the undead back from the dead maybe the positive cancels out the negative back from the dead are the undead but the un doesn't really count because it's negative but back from the dead the undead have risen is kind of a positive thing I guess we can say the undead have risen That'd be like celebrating the rise of the undead, which is what the vampire culture, even the responsible ones, have to deal with. And the vampire culture goes deep into our religion and severs connection with any of our holy lords is only because eventually the vampire has to retreat to a sheer evil level where he consumes nothing but human flesh and lives off destitute and ungratefulness and pain and suffering even when he's committing the worst kind of suffering, worse than even he's going through on his victims, which tickles his throat a little bit, but doesn't really do much for him. Now that this is an unnecessary way to kick Dracula's ass is to play this game. Now we're, we saw Medusa, and Medusa was scary, right? Shake your heads, yes, yes, shake my head. Medusa was scary. I didn't mean to get us through that boss battle, and that we didn't get a level up from going through all this isn't really why it's not done. We have a ways to go. Let's hang in there and see what we can find. If we find the last level in the whole freaking game, maybe we can hang in there, I don't know. I'm not getting a censorship sign or anything like that. I think we haven't really transgressed from even a kid show, what do you think? That kids can play these games is kind of scary because this is the graveyard, tape four. Why I'm narrating the tape thing. Hey, tape guy, 
Tape 4. Entered. Dungeon Master 57. The castle of the dungeon. The dungeon of castles. Has commenced. Oh, uh, already been going on for 20 minutes. Like a loop and a chain, it's sitting there on a giant cuff of wisdom and security. And always teaching us manners. The manners we have to have as a daily cook. Dealing with, for instance, the flesh of the dead. Which can sometimes mean in cultural differences. If an animal is dead, it should not be eaten. If it is of the non-kosher kind. And the non-kosher are not necessarily Dracula's victims, though, but everybody's Dracula's victims. But sometimes they get an anti-Semitic preacher saying Dracula's the enemy of all things, and, well, he could give a shit less about it. Yeah, but that doesn't make him bad or good, because really good qualifies over bad, and that he doesn't give a shit about it proves that, well, he doesn't really give a shit about it. So, like, I, I personally give a shit about some things Dracula doesn't, so I could never really qualify as Dracula. Like, I don't think I could make that jump right there that Simon Belmont made down there. That, that was impressive. I'd almost rewind it, but we've had too much. We haven't even rewound yet. And that we're going back to the beginning any time now, because we're at the end, isn't meant to psych you out and see the ultimate battle, which still won't get us a level up, but we got to fight all these boss battles. So here we go. This is the Chamber of Honor at the moment that you fight Dracula. Everyone beware this Dracula battle could get messy. And if it does, we're going back to the beginning of the game and trying to get back through it again. So there's no reason that we can't fight the good fight and make this a longer, longer single take that hasn't gone wrong yet. Whoops, it went wrong. Whoops, it's going wrong. Whoops, it went wrong. No, I'm kidding, YouTube. Nothing went wrong. It's perfect. It's perfect that we're seeing Dracula now. Isn't he remorseful, Byronic hero? Doesn't he look like a stained grace on the walls of humanity? And then I'm wondering if this is even Dracula, but it is. It's at the altar of Dracula that's right by the town when you go through sideways into the thin air. And this, my friends, is an ending none of us get to see. None of us get to see except for a little portion because it's for those that have conquered the game and... I don't think you want to see Dracula return from the grave and eat him in the ending. So now we go to our next portal. And our next portal will carry us far in the effect that we do doth have a commercial to gain through first. The cursor, the cursor, where is the cursor? And now we hit the middle of the club. The uh, we have to bat that back, and we have to click about, hold on, 